Camden Council in London spent over £10,000 on replacing a zebra crossing with this trends flag crossing. Yeah, really. Someone filed a Freedom of Information Act request and got this back today. 10,464 quid to paint some colours on a road. One wasn't enough, there are four of them right next to each other. So did it actually cost 40 grand? 40 fucking grand! Who painted it? Banksy? Doesn't look like it took a great amount of talent. Where's the rest of the money gone? How many freezing homeless people in Camden could have been sheltered for 40 grand? The council deliberately ignored warnings that the crossings are dangerous to the blind, elderly and disabled people. Both guide dogs and police horses often get spooked by the bright colours. Guide dogs were reportedly confused by the sight of traditional zebra Pedestrian crossings repainted in colours that symbolise trans rights. Uh, there's one of them. Uh, police horses are said to have been similarly discombobulated, been waiting all year to get that word away, by zebra crossings which are no longer in black and white. <laughs> Quite difficult, isn't it? <laughs> but in the colour of gay pride rainbows. The Department of Transport also warned Camden Council that the woke daubings are not considered official road markings and therefore, quote, have no legal meaning. This is the same council that can't find money to fund safety improvements after the tragic deaths of cyclists. It could also cause serious accidents because some drivers just won't clock that it's a zebra crossing as people are trying to cross the road. But none of that matters because apparently, quote, celebrating transgender awareness is more important. So they're putting people's lives in danger, as well as making the lives of disabled people, people with learning difficulties and the elderly, more difficult. At a cost to the taxpayer of £10,000, if not £40,000. Money that could be sent on actual road safety measures that prevent real accidents. And all for what? To satiate the woke mob. Oh, but political correctness is just being nice to people. No, it isn't. And this is yet an Another example where it's actually dangerous and harmful to people. Yet more London boroughs will continue to be defaced while ordinary people are left confused, alienated and endangered. <laughs>